Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make your own websites using Square or SquareUp. So first things first, of course, we're going to be going to uh, type in here squareup.com and then you'll end up in this website here. And then we're going to go ahead and sign in or if you uh, don't have an account yet, you can just sign up, input your email address and your password and all the other info that they need. And then we'll get to, uh, we'll get into the account uh, and you will end up with the, actually, uh, I already have an account logged in, but uh, for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and click the uh, get started. Uh, which will actually take you to this same uh, uh, page here once you finish signing up and then you uh, will be asked uh, so it's gonna ask us tell us about your business every business is unique we want to hear about yours yada yada uh, and so basically they're just asking what kind of business we are uh, so for this one let's just say other for now uh, then we, we're gonna be asked uh, what is our business name, uh, preferred phone number, uh, employer identification number, and all that stuff. Right, let's see if it's, yeah, it's the same for everything else. All these information, I guess we can't skip any of this. Um, but if you have all, all this information that you need, you uh, can actually uh, go through the next few phases. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and once you're finished with all that, you end up at your dashboard, which will uh, look something like this. It doesn't show you how to uh, make your own website for some reason, uh, but this is basically the same account that you'll be using for uh, the website itself. So let's go ahead and... Uh, so first we actually need to go through Weebly uh, and then we'll be able to build the website from there. Uh, apparently that one doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then we can create our website through this. I don't know why it's not letting, it doesn't have the, the, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the, make your own website option here uh, but um, we'll just use weebly.com uh, uh, to create our own website which is st still owned by square so it's still the same company you'll be able to log in using the same login that you have for for this one so back here okay no okay oh it all right so here we go Let's try a website. So now we want to, uh, now it's asking us uh, to select a theme. If we want to uh, select a theme, uh, there's a lot of different uh, options here. So we can go through uh, if we want to select a theme that is more business oriented, uh, more for your portfolio, just personal stuff, uh, events, blog, uh, coming soon. So if you're opening a store, that is yet to uh, be open. You can use that. There's also other. So every everything else basically does not covered here. Um, let's use business for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and see uh, what's an interesting one that we can use. So let's say let's say we're a restaurant uh, and we want we want to sell I don't know burgers that that's really good that looks really good actually uh, we can then select that one and uh, just click start editing and it'll just load up here all right so now uh, it's asking what your domain name is uh, let's say burgers are us sure <laughs> see if it's available Oh, all right, it's uh, available here, but uh, let's try burgers.net. Burgers are us.net. 
Uh, so there are there is a uh, fee if you want to uh, use Weebly or uh, Square, uh, and then we can uh, upgrade to it if we want uh, all these other features. But for now, we're just um, <clears throat> for now we're we're just testing it out uh, to see how uh, uh, how it works and how to set it up. So we can just close that for now. So here we have the menu for uh, how to edit this website. It has uh, basic, you can, basic uh, editing tools. It has uh, the title, text, image, gallery, slideshow, map, contact form, newsletter, button, embedded code. So it has all those th things. Then you can also change the structure, uh, divider. You can have a divider for your pages. Uh, and you can also have a spacer. You can also add videos, audio, so if you want music playing in the background, you can do that. Uh, you can also link to a YouTube video or just upload your own uh, HD video through here. And then you can also sub, uh, subscribe document uh, your, uh, if you have Flash, but I don't think, I don't know if, I don't know if Flash video is still available. Uh, you can also add files if you want. And then you can go through the products, categories of what you want to sell, uh, and then have a search box if, box if you want, uh, block quote, uh, social icons. Uh, you can have co uh, cookie opt out. And then you can also go through Google AdSense if you want to go through that and even have a survey here if you want. Uh, it, this is basically the build. Uh, this is basically, the, this already has a complete theme uh, has everything that you need if you are selling burgers basically and then you just edit out um, all this information based on whatever you are trying to sell uh, this one has the address and all the information it even has a map here uh, our location things like that uh, you can go through the pages it has the home page uh, it also has the menu page the about page you can edit everything on here. So all those pictures, all this information you can change. You could even change the theme uh, of the site. So uh, if you don't wanna use that, we can pick something else. Uh, we can also preview the theme if you just wanna look at it first uh, and see how it looks. Uh, and then, but, uh, but let's go ahead and just continue using the burger one for now. And then for the apps, you can also add apps uh, to your website if you want to add more uh, useful things for it. Uh, so you can have text animation, call out box. So you can add your social media stream and a bunch of other different sort of apps. Uh, and then you can also go through the settings, change uh, site address, uh, title, uh, site category. Uh, this is just the general stuff. So basically you can change a lot of options uh, on the website that you have. You, you even have a uh, help support uh, option here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not too difficult. You can, the only th difficult part here is actually setting it up and, and uh, editing everything that you want to uh, edit on the website itself. Uh, but other than that, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, making your own website using a square. But for this one, it's Weebly. So it's a little confusing, but uh, they're owned by the same company. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I hope it's been helpful to you. And uh, yeah, uh, have a great day. See you.